Since the 8th century, scientists have been trying to develop a machine with the power to change the world, able to produce a limitless supply of energy. Leonardo da Vinci declared it an impossibility. Others, including Johann Bessler in the 18th century, claimed success. They were dismissed as charlatans. But is the search at an end? Has the holy grail of science been discovered in this Dublin business park? The businessmen behind the claim say this test rig proves their theory. As it turns, it's making more energy than it's using. What we found is that when you construct certain magnetic fields using permanent magnets, the kind of magnets you have in your fridge, um, that certain constructions of, of, of these magnets cause certain fields. When you travel around the field, stopping and starting at the same position, you, you, you gain energy. The trained engineer who set up Stiorn says the results were found by accident three years ago. Eight people and organizations have tested the theory, but they won't say who. The company's claims have drawn a surprising response from physicists. We get daily, you know, emails, you know, telling us that, that um, you know, that, that we're, somebody's going to come around and beat us up. We have had um, certain people involved in the project phoned up by a physicist who told this person to watch their back. Um, you know, we've had bloggers turn up to the office. I've had one blogger turn up to my home. Um, it is amazing the depth of, of, of feeling. And it, it, this is fundamentalism from, from a scientific point of view. This is literally the reaction to our claim here is a religious reaction. It's the only way that I, that I, that I can put it in, in, in a way that people will understand. Undaunted, they put this advert in The Economist, inviting scientists to join a jury of 12 to test their findings. The counter on their website suggests nearly 5,000 have replied. Stiorn will fund the research as long as the scientists agree to publish their results. We, we would like them to be as widespread as possible, ideally geographically, but it's very important that they are the best people in the field. There's no value in us doing this and then ending up with a jury that, can be, that we can be told, well, actually, they're not the most qualified people. So we have to get the most qualified people we can get. Otherwise, it won't hold water. But why are so many so skeptical? Because it challenges the very foundations of physics. There are two fundamental laws that, uh, that we consider in thermodynamics, the laws of thermodynamics. And the first law says that you cannot create or destroy energy. And uh, you can only convert it from one form to another. And the second law of thermodynamics says if you put energy into a system, you can't get all of that energy out. But there's, a, there's always a possibility that we will find something extraordinary. But I have to say I'm a bit sceptical that we are going to find something that will break all the, the observed laws. The testing could take years, but it's still a high-risk strategy. Stiorn staff know they face global ridicule if the verdict is damning. The prize for success is a priceless patent, which would end our dependence on oil and potentially extinguish poverty, famine and drought. Now the jury must deliberate. Robert Nisbet, Sky News, Dublin.